Your PowerPoint is not your presentation. You are. PowerPoint can be an amazing tool. It's extremely easy to use and with the use of the outlining pane, like I'm showing you here, you can outline your entire presentation in a couple minutes. But think about the last time you were PowerPointed. That is, the last time you were trying to listen to someone speak, meanwhile trying to read every word that was on a screen behind them. How effective or captivating was that presentation really? At some point, people started believing that when it comes to designing a visual aid like PowerPoint, more is better. But it's not. That is rarely accurate. I have one big issue with PowerPoint, and that is that it is the offspring of the word processor, Microsoft Word. This is a problem because designing a Word document and designing an effective PowerPoint presentation serve completely different purposes. This has led us to find refuge in using things like bullet points, when in reality, the excessive use of bullet points can be extremely painful for an audience. To illustrate this for you, I would like to introduce you to corporate comedian Don McMillan. The fourth most common PowerPoint is avoid excessive bullet pointing, only bullet key points, too many bullet points, and your key messages will not stand out. In fact, the term bullet point comes from people firing guns at annoying presenters. So remember, simpler is better. No more than six bullet points per slide, no more than six words per bullet point, period.